Okay, so now we start already. Yeah? Okay, so now we go back to our previous lesson. This question. I ask you to determine uh, the vortex across the uh, atom resistor, right? You've done already the questions. So in this question, I ask you to determine how much is the vortex across this atom. Anyone? No time for questions, sorry. I need the answer. I'm still can you hear the voice clearly? Eh? Is it better? I still cannot. All right. Okay. So any pieces? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right, please. Use this question as a one-up question for you to start your your. Okay, so the original question just asked you to determine what is a current. So the original question just asked you to determine the current. So now I, I put the additional question for you. Find out how much is the what is a close edge of the system. If I ask you the voltage across a five ohm, actually the question is really easy to solve, right? So when I find you, uh, ask you to uh, find across the eight ohm, so the question will be a bit, a little bit tricky, uh, But this one's uh, considered as, I will say that it can be considered as the highest level in SPM questions, uh. So uh, maybe for some certain students will be quite challenging. Right, so I need the responsible answer, please. Thank you. Okay, if you are not my school students, you would like to try. So now I show you the questions. Okay, because my school students have the module with them, so they can refer to your book. So if you do, if you are not a my school students, so you may see the presentation screen. Try to copy down the question and then do it, stop it now. Okay, this one is still under the series and parallel circuit. Right? Because later on, when we learn the problem solving for the EMF, okay, sometimes uh, the question will be mixed together with the series and parallel calculations, including the EMF concept. Okay, so Amanda, uh, the answer already, 2.4, that's 6.4. Uh, so waiting for the others, how the others respond? Right, only a minute answer. How about the others? Four point eight. You can see there are the very big difference here. So and then uh, this one six point four, four point eight all together also not the total. Okay, keep trying. I want to know more answer here. Then you others you can see later on it will be you will be very surprised. One question is only it can come out many, many answer. So nine point six. Uh, 
Anyone else? Yeah, wait another minute. For those who are still trying, please send me your answer so that we can share together. Okay, so it seems like five. most of you choose nine point six. I right, only some have uh, this answer. Right. So now see whether the is it the answer is same as a majority majority of you. Like going to this question, you see, if you think that the way of the ligand like, given is not uh, easy for you to study, you can redraw the circuit so they become the normal parallel circuit for you. you redraw, right, so this is the one. This is provided the trunk wall here. Okay, so here's the emitter. So after that, you look at the connections. From here, it's split into the two sides. So there's a one, one. Okay, another one, another one. So these two, if they join back, and they come back here. So now, originally given here is a 5 ohm, 5 ohm. Here is a 2 and then it's a set. Right. So, come forward here. Close at this two point. This is a close if I change the color across of this green color side and also across the this blue color side. Okay, it's a trouble that we have. So why this thing also is so important? Because you see that the green color it will stop here. Stop here. And then the pink color it will stop here. Okay, it means Across this uh, green color and pink color, the uh, voltage will be the trough wall. The voltage will be the trough wall. Right? So this voltage is trough wall. Right? This is trough wall. Okay. Means this is the voltage across the uh, connections between two resistors. And uh, both side five five and the two eight both side across the uh, water across them is a trouble because they are parallel. That's why for the previous lesson you learned when in the parallel circuit all the waters across the east neighbor or the east row will be the step v1 equal to v2 equal to v. That's what happened here v equal to v1 equal to v2. But inside the parallel we have a city circuit. Series connection because the five and five connect in series, two and eight connect in series. So it means, right, voltage across the five ohm plus the voltage across the five ohm, it should be equal to 12 volt. Then also, voltage across the two ohm resistor, 
plus voltage across the head of the system, it should be equal to 12 volt as well. Right. So for 5 and 5 easy because both resistor have the same resistance. When they are equal resistance, so if they were divided equally into two. So this automatically we're able to know this one actually is a six volt. This one also actually is a six volt. So six plus three is twelve. But for, for the two and the add of you cannot make it divided equally because they are different resistance. Right? So please that not for this for, for this question. It cannot be the same. So how are I able to know what is the uh, what is across for the each resistor that we have? Okay, there are a few methods. First one, you can try to solve it by nature. And uh, I noticed that if you try by nature, it's not all the students able to do. So that's why for the solving by the ratio data I only was show. Now I show the the more basic way to solve this question. This we focus on the color. We focus on the color. So before that, five and five connected in series. When we combine it, what we have is ten ohm. Eight and the two when we combine it, we also have ten ohm. All right. Okay. So now we try to simplify it into the basic parallel circuit. All right. We try to simplify it to the basic parallel circuit. So it means we have ten ohm here. And we also have the other side, also 10 ohm. Okay. Then our colors, right? our colors, when we come into the parallel circuit, the effective color, so it was split into the two. Split into the two. So we will have the I1 and I2. That is what we learned in the parallel circuit before this. This I in the parallel circuit it should be equal to I1 plus I2. It only split into the two parallel. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay, and now both sides have the same resistance. 10 ohm, 10 ohm. Because of same resistance means I1 equal to I2. Because of both have the 10 ohm resistance. So this, once we know about the colors, effective colors, so we're able to know what is the I1 and I2 straight away because it's just divided by two, All right? Okay, so now we go back to the most basic solution, uh, so, uh, solution, which is we need to know what is the effective R for the whole circuit, All right? Effective R of the whole circuit will be the one over 10 plus one over 10. So it's equal to one over five, means if you get R is equal to I ohm. Right. Two over 10, so it become uh, five ohm for the effective R. You cannot make it as a one over five, yeah? because one over five is a one over R already made before. And the question give us the effective V is a 12 volt. So from here, to find the effective I, it should be equal to 12 over five. So you have two point four ampere. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna apply two. Okay. So two point four ampere means this one will be equal to two point four. Two point four divided by two. So it's equal to one point two ampere. So I one I two is the same. So both of them equal to one point two ampere. Okay. So now come back to question here. Already, I think you already know how to solve it already. To find the voltage across the add off, we need to apply formula I R. And the I, we already calculate I across here. I coming here is 1.2, so 1.2. And the R, how much is add off? Now it's add off, so that's why we have 9.6 volt. 9.6 volt. So that's the answer for 9.64. Okay. So this solution is the most of students will be followed. 
find the effect AI, after from the effect AI, we, then we slowly solve it one by one. Okay, for the advanced students, they may go through the uh, faster way or the express way to solve the problem by the measure. As I said that, we know that the total V is 12 across the 2 ohm and 8 ohm. Right? Okay, and then both HPD is like this. V across 2 ohm is equal to the I multiplied 2 ohm. Okay, the V across 8 ohm is equal to the I multiplied 8 ohm. Then the V across their total voltage is equal to I multiplied 2 plus N. So, and then this one we know the answer. Right here. The V across the 2 ohm plus N ohm resistor is equal to the 12 volt. Only we don't know is this. V across 2 ohm, we don't know. V across 8 ohm, we don't know. But we know this. We know this chart was given. Another information that we know is they have the same I. They have the same I. So, based on the information, what we can do is we try to transform the, these equations. So it becomes what? It becomes I equal to V2 ohms over 2. And here also said, switch it into I equal to, okay, I change the color because they are different V, so I change the color better for you. I equal to the V across at all over and the I is a set. Here the next one also set is the F. I equal to twelve provided twelve over two plus eight. Over two plus F. Okay. So means this is what we can solve. So means that equal to one point two. Uh, you see? So that this is solved by it. That equal to two, one by two. So I equal one by two, then substitute. Okay, basically, you still solve with the color across it. You still haven't applied the ratio yet. Right? So you haven't applied the ratio yet. So if you look at the ratio, because they are the same I, right? So at the same I, so the ratio according to this ratio means, right? So V versus R, right? V ratio to the R for the V across to O, right? Ratio to the two, right? V for the eight ohm is a ratio to eight. Okay, so according to this, means that our ratio will be 1 to 4. 1 to 4. Right? Ratio is a 1 to 4. Ratio will be 1 to 4. So we arrange it like this. B to ohm over 2. K over, sorry. K over 2. Is equal to the B at ohm over A. Right, so it means V2 ohm over V at ohm is equal to 2 over A, so it means a 1 over 4. Right, so based on this, V2 ohm ratio to the V at ohm is equal to the 1 to 4. And their total is 12, so it means that the 12 volt has to be divided by 5. So it's equal to and then we are looking for the V at all. 
So add on is 4. Then means we add on 2.4 multiply 4. That's why you have 9.6 also. If you want to solve it by ratio. Right? Okay. So anyway, you see the one question only we have uh, so many solutions. Uh, I think we have three different solutions that to solve the questions already. Okay. So there is a question for the this. So it should be 9.6. Okay. So far, uh, any questions? Okay, for those get the 4.8 so or others than 9.6, I hope that uh, you're able to make your Corrections. Right, so to, to know that what which, which part you do wrong with. So if still having the problems to understand why the way you do is wrong, then so you may uh, let me know. So either by typing or by the on your mic to discuss together in this meeting room now.